Thank you. Okay, so we have some. I think it's a good guys. battle to use this team too. Yes, I use this team and Swampy hit number one lead on leaderboard using this team. Okay, Coffin lead against Tapu Fini lead. This is actually a good matchup. So you don't need to do anything fancy. You can over farm a bit. Uh, shielding the uh, the Moon Blast is not a bad idea. But when you see a Tapu in the lead, that means a Skunk in the back is going to be almost useless. Mm -hmm. So winning the lead is not a bad idea. They over farmed by a lot. So shielding is fine. Yes. Do we outpace to two moves before they get to two? We do, yes. right? Yeah, so okay. insta throwing here is actually good. And I agree with throwing the psychic. This is actually the good move to throw because if they shield, you have a chance to debuff them. If they no shield. Uh, okay. He tries to catch. Yeah, mm. that's that's good. It's reasonable play. Yeah. Yep. It's not a bad bad idea. Okay. So now this is this is a bit oh. sus because you don't want to give them like you don't want to sack your your Pokemon because now if they have yeah. Jellicent in the back they won't show it oh. and remember that's when bad. I said our skunk is gonna be useless in the back that's why so you remember when I'm talking to the trainer who sent me these battles when you were trying to catch you should have committed to that catch after because you need the coffin in case have a steel in the back because whenever you see something like Tapufini in the lead. That means any poison Pokemon in the back is going to get walled. Because it's, it's Tapu in the lead. So generally, generally a team is supposed to have some good coverage, okay? So nice that you didn't throw here instantly. That's good, actually. That's good patience, because now yeah. he has... Um, now his content can throw two flamethrowers at the Reggie Steel. So let's see if he plays that condition. So you need to over farm a bit, but you also need to kill the Charizard before Charizard gets to the next move. Yeah. That's a, some okay. nice timing right there as Great well. Great timing. Yeah. Amazing timing. That was amazing timing. Six. So they're at the burn now. And it's up to him what he wants to do. Yep. Shielding isn't bad, but also no shielding is also isn't bad. That's mm -hmm. like Tapofini is supposed to live that, by the way, if you have a good IV one. And mm -hmm. this is where, like, the Shadow Skunk is better than the Run Shadow. The Registeel when you are up a shield. Yeah. And they can't lock on down either. They need two yes. moves. So... Uh, so you can you can actually yeah. commit. And yeah. then Skunk yeah. is not actually useless. So, him not... Like, them not getting the catch. Him, the trainer here. Uh, not getting baited when they swapped to try to catch on the Charizard. Their charge was pretty much useless because it was walled by Tapufini and he was able to grab a shield, which is good. So I would say generally like we had only I think one mistake. But you if you see a Tapufini in the lead, you're supposed to save your coffin in case they have something like Cobalion in the back. So mm -hmm. a play is usually like catch on your Tapufini with this team from their Tapufini because you know that. Your skunk is going to get walled by steel in the back if it's a type of elite. Dragonite, which is, yo, the team we posted against the team we are going to yep. post tomorrow. So this is actually one of the matchups that I don't like as a coffin because it doesn't matter. You have to shield here. If you don't shield, you die with a move. Yep. So if you're no shielding, okay, you always go for the psychic against Dragonite. You always do that because they always shield. And yeah. if you get a debuff, that's better for you. Better setup for the Tapu Fini. Like, look how much damage they took from the Shadow Ball. By the way, you are going to die with the move. So this is a huge yeah. mistake. Not knowing your matchups. And here comes the Registeel. This is kind of bad news, Bears. Maybe you have to swap out right away because you're just giving the Registeel more energy. Yeah. Um, there could also be a Jellison in the back, too. So uh, it's a classic ABB strat. That we see from the opponent. Um, yeah. Now the thing with the thing with Shadow Dragonite is with its very polarizing leads, it can just shield once and then uh, take swap yeah. or commit to uh, the farm down. So um, you kind of need to know need to know that you have to throw the psychic with Kofa and then potentially draw out the Reggie Steel. Yeah. Because the Dragonite against Coffin again, if you no shield the Dragon Claw, you don't get to the second move. And you have to shield. 
and you get outpaced as well so it's not a comfortable matchup so you need to get a shield also you need to catch also you need to save coffin for the steel in the back so it's a very rough matchup i think i recommend watching the video i made about this video this team yeah and it's a dragonite double steel so tapu pini had a good potential uh coffin had like a very big potential because coffin is okay is low-key a quarter breaker for their team yeah because coffin can beat all the steel now we move to a situation where we will you have to commit no no, no don't throw here no it was gmp but uh -huh. i think he should have just thrown the flamethrower at first yeah the right first away. one yeah now we need we need a debuff oh, okay. oh that wasn't cmp interesting is there a difference in power between male and female flesh no you think so one wins lead while the other one loses leads yeah interesting so yeah back to this one when when i when we mario and i both had the same comment is that you need to commit to the flamethrower because you are one fast move away and if you don't get it they will be forced to throw their energy so in both cases you're fine so always commit the move that is lethal that's super effective okay. and in most cases people will over farm if they when they notice that you throw the yes. less energy and less effective move yeah so the, because their their only plate is is technically to over farm, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and this dragon uh, is still so healthy, and our water guns KO. are resistant. Yeah. Super power KO. But okay, um, through dragon claw. You have to water gun. Yeah. Um, I think you can throw. Surf KOs. Surf KOs, by the way. Yeah. But now we can't KO the Dragonite. That's the main issue. Dude, Registeel is, is, is actually a cheating Pokemon, I swear. You could play horribly, and you have Registeel, and you can just win. So it's either up to you. You want to play good, or you want to just have Registeel, and win in both case, cases. So see, if, if we throw the Flamethrower, would have been enough. To KO the the the, the Gfisk and then two Pokemons left. Yes, Skunk isn't healthy. Uh, Dapu isn't healthy, but remember that Registeel only threw nukes. So even if you have one HP, they still have to nuke to to KO. So that's another thing. Galventula. This is a very this dominant is, lead. Yeah, this is where you want to see it too. So. Yeah. Great. So it's supposed to over farm in good matchups because this is a good matchup. So we did eight, they are at four. So we can do three more than throw. A psychic, by the way. Throw a psychic because this thing always shield. Okay. Uh, that, that was nice calling the bait there, but again you throw psychic here because if you get a debuff. It will even out their, their, their debuff. Throwing on alignment is uh, is something I'm not a fan of because you could have just over farm here. You still live the discharge, so. Mm -hmm. This is nice to see. Not shielding. Very good. But again, two so two scenarios where so far we're not going for the debuff move, even though we know that they will shield. They might not shield this one, but they most likely will shield. And now we ended up in a bad situation where you have to swap out and get debuffed. Because if you get one of the mm -hmm. psychic debuffs, it's a 12%, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. So that's like 24, 24%, right? Committing to the fo full farm down is kind of risky because I'm not counting. Let's they barely see. made it. They made it just in time, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. The good thing, you still have Coffin. See, uh, we see a Nido Queen. Nido Queen probably died to two crunches from Skunk. So. This is why sometimes, you know, you save your lead in case your backline is weak to something. Because with this team, you need to save the coffin all the time. So now we're actually doing better, but we debuffed. Okay, we got the debuff back. I was worried. Uh, Shadow Skunk wins against Nido CMP, right? Yes. Eight, yeah. Nine, they usually ten. don't bait, but in both cases, you don't shield here. Yeah. Yeah. He knows his matchups. Like he knows he's playing very well. 
but I think he just lacked the knowledge of, for the matchups. You go coffin, and I think you know shield. I was gonna say go Tapu and, and water gun down. Water gun before down. Before they get to a move. That that works yeah. as well. Because earthquake is uh, ten, right? So and they oh, they throw, throw EQ. Right? Never Got mind. It. No, my, my bad. They throw EQ. Yeah, and then yeah, this that's over. a that's a game. So see here, yeah. most likely we we played it like ideally. Yes, we didn't throw the shadow ball. We're throwing the shadow ball against the gulp. It's not the end of the world. It's like this is mm -hmm. help a bit, but overall, I think we played much better than the other the, the first two games. Okay, toxic tank and legend here. Girados. Interesting. So okay. keep in mind, Girados gets a, an aqua tail every six. Pass moves gets to a crunch every seven and a half. So if they go to the crunch, they are gonna get it like the dragon breath right after you get to the shadow ball. So you have to shield here because yep. this is super effective. Yeah, but the, and there's no point trying to call a bait there. Yes, that's because uh... even if it's a bait, you still get to two nukes before they get to a bait and a crunch. And as I said before. You want to keep Coffin alive with this team. You cannot sack the Coffin. What? What is that? Oh, interesting. What the heck? What? what Bennett? Does this, I didn't even okay, know so this Pokemon go to Ultra League. <laughs> Yo. They brought the fighter. And actually nice patience on the, on, on the trainer here. Like, so far every time they tried to catch, he managed to not throw the move. Which is, which is uh, very good to see. And the timing is, is a bit sus here. But again, it's like one against two. Uh, it's, it, it can be clunky sometimes. If it's like visual glitches. Yeah, you know shield here. If, even even if it's a thunder punch. It doesn't KO. It's a close combat. It's a close combat. Wow. Spiciest the trainer in the world? Yo, are they going to shadow claw down? <laughs> no, there's no way they can. Mm. Uh. Imagine not having Shadow Banette. Like, if you're not Banette, you must be run the Shadow at least, okay? Yeah. We died to the Shadow Ball, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we almost died to the Shadow Ball here. From Banette. That's the, higher attack than Mew. The attack status is so high. Yeah. yeah. We need a Crunch debuff, so I don't I don't recommend the over farming. So, this is one of these cases. They are switch locked. You are switch locked. Let's forget that this is the last Pokemon. Dazzling Gleam? Oh, this is single move, dude. No, I had ball too. Why would they gleam? But, Shadow Ball almost KO there. Yeah. Uh, so sure in these why. cases, if they are switch locked, you don't over farm. Try to to get the crunch debuff. If, especially if sorry, let me say it this way: if you have a Pokemon that debuff or that has the chance to debuff, they are switch locked. You don't need to over farm, especially if your move doesn't KO. So you try to get the the, the, the debuff as soon as possible. Male has more attack usually. That is correct, Sammy. Male Jellicent usually has more attack because it doesn't spawn in the wild. Okay, this is okay. A, a bad league. You suppo you're supposed to go Skunk. So... The Non-Shadow actually wins the zero with one HP. That's something that's good about the Non-Shadow Skunk. But I get it that this team doesn't have enough fast move pressure so you run the shadow but it makes the skunk matchup more what is that well, it's interesting that's an interesting swap i i would seen one it's a it's a very polarizing way to swap though because uh they're still gonna win swap and they're still gonna have alignment yeah but they are sacking a full hp pokemon it's true but the Obscure and Kova matchup is just so bad, too. Yeah. So they want to reduce the amount of farm. Or. Oh! Or, or you get the or guaranteed defense they lose draw. a swap. <laughs> down a shield. Yo, Danny is cracked. Yeah. Insane. Insane crack battler. That was he a 4-1. Nice no. I think it's he sent me only one set. So, yes. Overall. Uh. You're playing very very well i don't think like i think i was wrong in, in one and two of the calls where like mario actually made the correct one which you also did make 
Uh, I think you're just lacking the knowledge of the matchups. So that's why we recommend doing Sims on PV Poke about the matchups that you don't know. You can just run, go to PV Poke. Uh, let me show it. You can go here. I, I, I like I'm sure every PvP I know, but again, you need to do like like I do run Sims before most of before I make any 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 team. Like especially like let's see the Coffee Grigas against the Dragonite. Okay? So you run the Sims. Okay, we don't have Dark Pulse. If you have Dark Pulse, it's actually better because you, you could get to the move at the same time. So Dragonite wins the zero. I think you have regular Dragonite Oh, this is regular. Like, what's wrong? I'm sure we don't win this. So the Shadow. So see, Coffin only wins the zero. You lose the one and the two. It's like actually a horrible matchup. Look how bad it is. Like a Dragonite leave the matchup with like 66 HP. That's like uh, almost half, which is bad. Like it's extremely bad because Dragonite like just have so much fast move pressure. You don't wanna you don't wanna give Dragonite any advantage. You just wanna keep it in control. So Skunk has a better matchup because Skunk also get to the move faster and has like much fa much more fast move pressure overall uh i think that's like the only thing do you have any any input you want to add mario master uh no i think a little bit of it also comes with team reading so uh but maybe it's um maybe that's extending the the uh, suggestion too far but um like realizing that okay you only win the zeros uh you can throw the shadow ball right away and then swap out um to absorb the energy elsewhere and then to also get an energy head start into the next yeah. matchup so and um team it leading, comes with practice yeah team leading comes with a practice it always starts like this okay they have this lead what covers this pokemon from the meta that's how you make it uh you could also make it just by playing a lot like lots of people just like play a lot and then they memorize every team in them in the game but like if they see the first and the second they can just tell the third by playing against that team because that's like how there's only like a handful of teams people run most of the time especially like the higher mmr you go the fewer teams you will see you'll see like probably like the same code with, with a different third in most of in most of the times so yeah thank you danny for sending me these battles i hope you get something uh from what we said and good luck with your legend push i think my chat said it is 17 days more i believe that that's that's enough time yeah that's uh, the end of the video for today thank you for watching and don't forget everyone to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't it's free it doesn't cost you anything Helps and the hit channel. the notification bell and it, that's too far i can't get them okay. to subscribe okay all right i can't get them to subscribe <laughs> 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 so yeah, that's it. Thank you so much everyone for watching.